time. After school, two days a week, and all day Saturday. I'm glad to have but I'm also glad for experience get a full-time job later. When I have the chance, I babysit evenings, even though I spend a lot of my spare time helping around home. It's nice to have a little spending money, and besides, well, someday I hope to have children of my own, and I'll know better how to take care of them. Part-time job? Not for me. I don't learn as fast as some do, and all my extra time has to go into studying to keep up. So I don't have any part-time work. Some of us want part-time work, others do not. But for those who do, there is a variety of part-time job opportunities. Mowing lawns, delivery jobs, retail jobs, fountain jobs, outdoor jobs of all sorts, and many others. Let's find out more about Bill Drake, who works in this bookstore part-time, how he came to have this job, and why he likes it so well. Some weeks ago, Bill was walking along and saw something he'd like to have bought very much. But he just didn't have the cash to pay for it. That had happened to Bill before, and he was determined to find a part-time job. He had called at the school placement office, inquired among his friends, and was following the want ads in the newspaper. So many different kinds of jobs. Which kinds should Bill try for? Just how could he get one of these jobs? He soon found that looking for a job takes time, patience, and nerve. Often you'll find you've been beaten to the job you wanted, but you just have to keep trying until you find what you want. Too bad, though. Bill would like to learn about small business, because someday he wants to have a business of his own. But right now, today, Bill wants to earn some spending money, so try another. Boy, printer's assistant. Hmm, that would be fun. And he might learn about the business in that job, too. But no. Some training is needed to qualify for that one. Bill will have to use more care in selecting places to apply. He keeps looking for jobs where he could do the work and perhaps learn a bit as well. It takes time and patience. And then... Jameson's bookstore. Why, he's looking for... Yes, here it is. Boy for part-time work in bookstore. I'll bet I could get that job. Maybe get a typewriter at a discount. But a bookstore. Boy, I get enough of books all day long. Still, it is a small business. Maybe I could learn a bit about how it's operated. Nothing like trying, anyway. Well, uh, hello, Bill. What can I do for you today? Well, Mr. Jameson, I... You advertise for a part-time helper. I'd sure like to work for you. Well, you look as if you could do it. You'll be selling books and handling stock. All day Saturday and two days a week after school. Two afternoons? Oh. I was hoping it would just be Saturdays. But, well, that's all right. You better be sure. Last young fellow I had left me. Said he didn't have enough time for studying. Now, you know I can't be training people just to lose them. So if you take this job, I'm going to expect you to stay. And take care of your studies and recreation in other times. Oh, yes, sir. I, I'm sure I can do it. Well, here's what we'll do. Let's try it out for two weeks. If we're both satisfied at the end of that time, you will have a steady job here. Boy, thanks, Mr. Jameson. When do I start? Right now. So Bill started on his first regular part-time job. What did it mean to him? 
Well, during the day, he was meeting people, learning to get along with people, just as he would all through his life. And he was seeing what it means to play a useful role in the community. And at closing time, he was able to get acquainted with methods of operating a business. He could see how these methods might fit into his own business someday. Bill was also learning responsibility, new skills, new abilities. He was learning the importance of keeping records, and above all, the meaning and value of money. Yes, Bill's job could help him in many ways. He was learning to make use of his time and energy, learning to get along in a regular schedule of work. But there was still this matter of schoolwork. What about school? What effect did Bill's job have on his studies? Yeah, what about schoolwork? School isn't so easy when you have less time for study. The assignments seem to get heavier every day. Of what value are bookkeeping records to the operator of a small business? Pretty tough. And literature. What similarities of subject matter and style may be found among the New England writers? Good night. It's going to take time to learn all of that. And now I've got to go to work. I have to tell Mr. Jameson I can't keep the job, I guess. Well, Bill? Today marks the end of the trial period we agreed upon. I want you to know that I'm very satisfied with your work, and I want you to stay on. Uh, Mr. Jamison... You know, you remind me of a fellow who used to work here. Oh, not that last fellow. He couldn't hold a candle to you. Had to quit to keep up with his studies. You remind me of a fellow who worked here some time ago. His name was Howard. Howard was a good, steady worker, just like you. Howard always said he got as much out of working here as he did at school. Oh, I guess he was exaggerating a bit, but you know a fellow can learn a lot in a place like this. Well, I'm glad to have you stay. I'd like to look through some of your books on essays. Essays? Yes, you know, uh, Thoreau, Emerson, the New England writers. Oh, right over there, sir. Browse as much as you wish. Thanks. New England writers. I'll bet I could learn a lot of my literature work just keeping eyes and ears open around here. And, boy, what's the matter with me? I can really learn about bookkeeping here, too. This is a small business, and Mr. Jameson keeps records of all income and expenses. I've got it. Mr. Jameson, I'll stay on this job. Why, working here will help me with my schoolwork. I'll make time to study somehow or other, and I'll learn lots of things right here. I'm glad to stay. Well, I... I assumed you would. Bill found that his part-time job helped him in many ways. His schoolwork became easier and even improved. Bill did find that he had less recreation time, that he had to turn down chances for fun, because of the responsibility of his job. But whenever he did take time to play, Bill enjoyed himself all the more. He was learning to use his time effectively at play and at school. He was making the most of whatever time he had for study. And there were other benefits from Bill's job. It is nice to have a little money for things you want. So while Bill gave up a lot for his job, he also gained a great deal. Let's see how he feels about it all now. I feel fine about it. And I'm going to keep this job. I'm learning all sorts of things. I'm getting experience that's valuable on how a small business is run. And I'm earning money for my efforts. Maybe you should consider part-time work. You'll have to decide for yourself. Think it over. Consider carefully. It's worthwhile to work part-time, if you can spare the time.